And uh, we just wanted to give a quick toast uh, to all of our uh, Disney Legends and Luminaries that came today for our animation photo. Thank you all for being here. We truly appreciate it. Uh, so raise a glass and uh, cheers, whether it's coffee or water or whatever you're having. Uh, you know, thank you very much to everyone here for your support of D23 and all you've done for the Disney legacy. Uh, cheers. Cheers. And now we have a very special surprise for you. Does anyone know what this piano is? This is a baby, baby grand, yes. This is the piano from Walt Disney's office. And uh, Becky just had it tuned uh, after many years. And so. We, we actually moved it up here so that it would have a, a nice environment and stay. You know, pianos need to be treated with loving care. And so we wanted to put it somewhere where it would be safe and clean and air conditioned. And so we thought, what better place than to put it in, within the archives collection? And it, you, no one has played it except the tuner. Oh, really? So wow. it's been revoiced and tuned. Jumped and, all over it, Richard. And, uh, <laughs> and this, this piano, be careful. This, was, this was done by Kim Weber. We've done some research. It's so and beautifully restored. It's, a, it's just yeah. beautiful. The instrument inside was from, I think, 1908 or 19, somewhere in 1910 or so. And then Kim Weber designed the outside to match Walt's furniture. So it's absolutely beautiful and very unique. I want to comp compliment you on the way you place this piano, because in Walt's office, when I first played this piano in 1960, July of 1960, uh, the piano was facing this way, so that the keyboard, I, if I were playing, I'd be, my back would be to you like that. And the very first time, a very nervous couple of songwriters were ushered into Walt's office to play a song for Annette and the cello. Uh, he wanted Walt Disney, we'd never met him before, he wanted to hear the song in person. I was so terrified. I said, we'll get a demo. We'll make, you know, a good singer. We'll do it. So, oh no, Walt wants to hear it himself. We didn't know that. That's the way he always had his songwriters and his composers play for him. And so, uh, there the piano was with the keyboard like this. And I'm looking at a legend in the back of my head like that, singing the song. <laughs> it was not easy. But uh, fortunately, he dug it and he turned it around so that it was facing this way. But um, I think everybody knows that the Walt's very, very famous, uh, famous story about the fact that he loved to feed the birds so very, very much. So I think that's the song I could play. Uh, and uh, in, I'm not going to play it for you guys. I'm going to play it for Walt. Up there. Uh, as I always did. <laughs> oh, I need, a, I need a higher share. This, oh, oh. This is pretty <laughs> pretty <laughs> uh, first switch here a little bit on the lower side. Yeah, the, the bench is still packed away. So. <laughs> you know, it's the height. Might have to lift it over.
close with the fact that all of you guys are here having a good time. I'm going to play another song that I'm very fond of that came from the same movie. And maybe if you know it, you'll help me out. <laughs> because I was afraid to speak when I was just a lad. Me father came in here to know. <laughs> me father gave me another tweak and told me I was bad. But then one day I learned a word that same Yankee knows. The biggest word you ever heard. Oh,